I am grateful that we have a God who hears prayer and who answers prayer. And so I would encourage all of us to seek the Lord today and to bring this matter before him that his sovereign will will be done in this case and to ask for relief and for protection uh, from this potentially deadly virus. Um, as I give thought to this day, just a couple of thoughts to lay in front of you before we look into the scripture in John chapter 7. And the first is what Spurgeon called the pillow upon which he rested his soul, which is the sovereignty of God. Uh, we should all take comfort and draw encouragement from the fact that there are no maverick molecules in the universe and that there are no uh, events that take place outside of the sovereign control of God. Uh, God causes some things to happen. God allows other things to happen, but God controls all things that do happen. And so we have no idea whether God has caused this or allowed this, but we do know that God controls this for a far greater good. Um, it is out of times of adversity that most people are converted and come to faith in Jesus Christ. And so for the greater good of the kingdom of God and for souls to be brought into relationship with Jesus Christ, um, we should pray that at this time God would use this uh, for an evangelistic harvest, uh, that people would give thought to the shortness of life, the suddenness of death, and the length of eternity that there is only one Savior uh, of souls, and that is Jesus Christ. And so at this time, God is at work in ways so far beyond what any of us could even begin to comprehend. So we should be those who pray that all of God's purposes will in fact come to pass, but most specifically that there will be souls that will be brought into right relationship with Him through His Son, Jesus Christ. I would also remind us as well that God's sovereignty includes the number of days that we will be here upon the earth. And while we should take every precaution of safety and, and protection, uh, nevertheless, the Bible says in Psalm 139 that all of our days were written in his book when as yet there was not one of them. And Job 14 verse 5 says that we will not exceed the number of months that God has given to us. And so there is a very real sense, as George Whitfield said, we are immortal on this earth until our work is done. And so God has, before time began, numbered the number of days that you would have to live on this earth. And you will not live one second beyond that. And you will not live one second less than that. It is the perfect number of days that God has ordained for you. And so we should rest in this great truth as we take our precautions, as we seek to um, quarantine ourselves uh, in a way that would be prudent and wise. There is the overarching reality that God has numbered our days and that they are in the hand of God. Uh, Jesus was consciously aware of the number of days he had when he was here upon the earth and said multiple times, my hour has not yet come. Well, your hour has not yet come, but God alone knows what that hour is, and you should take great comfort in that. Uh, the other thing that I would say is, as we consider this coronavirus, um, I, I think it is an extraordinary picture of sin that has spread around the world and has brought death in its wake. Um, in a far greater way, sin has plagued the human soul. It has spread around the world. It has brought death. The wages of sin is death. Um, its contagious level uh, is so astronomical it cannot be computed. And there is only one cure and that is through the great physician himself, the Lord Jesus Christ, who alone can wash away sin, who alone can make us right before God. And so even as we find ourselves in the midst of this um, 
unfortunate situation that is far more than just unfortunate for many people. Um, that our life is in his hands. And I trust that your life is in his hands. And if your life is not, you need to pray this very moment and confess your sin and believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation. Because there's salvation in no other name. For there's no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Acts 4 verse 12. So, let us pray today. Let us rest in the sovereignty of God. Uh, let us do God's work as he provides us the opportunities. And let us take every precaution uh, that wisdom and discretion would require of us to keep ourselves healthy.